will destroy humankind is still up for debate. A new book, Artificial You, says AI could advance to human level intelligence before too long and we must understand the implications of robots becoming conscious beings. For more, I'm joined now by the author, Susan Schneider. Thanks so much for being with us. Hi, thanks for having me. So you opened the book in 2045 at this store for mind enhancement, and one of the things that you can buy is a, a human computer. Could this really be our future? It could. Um, already in Japan, they're developing very human-looking androids to take care of the elderly population as they age. So it could be that in the future, we need to make decisions about purchasing artificial intelligences that look very human. But I emphasize in the book, however, it's not at all clear that machine consciousness is in the cards. So the first half of the book is really a long deliberation on whether conscious AI is even possible. But what would be the risks of having a robot that would be conscious just like you and I are? Well, one problem I have is suppose you stroll into this Center for Mind Design and you purchase a sentient android, then it feels like something to be it. So it has a conscious mental life. Um, that is to say that it is morally significant. It suffers and feels a range of emotions. So the implications are very severe. We would essentially be purchasing beings that are intelligent and conscious, so that would be akin to slavery. And do you think all of these engineers in Silicon Valley who are creating this stuff are thinking enough about the implications of it? Well, I have to say that I believe that um, both artificial general intelligence, which is sophisticated domain general reasoning, and conscious AI are farther into the future than many people believe, luckily. But my view is that we need to get the ground hit the ground running by think quickly and as deeply as possible thinking about various scenarios, including especially the philosophical and ethical implications of creating conscious machines. And you also write in the book about this concept of transhumanism. I mean, what are the ethical implications of us having essentially computer implants in our brains? Great question. So Elon Musk, for example, is a big proponent of the idea of merging with AI. And he believes that to deal with future technological unemployment and to deal with the possibility of super intelligent AI, we need to actually put artificial intelligence inside of our head. So it could be that the next big wave of AI work is actually putting AI in our heads. So we need to think hard about that. what that means now. We need to, for example, think about whether conscious AI is even possible. If it's not, and we replace parts of our brains with microchips, then we would be diminishing our conscious mental life. And Susan, in 20 seconds, if you can, what should be happening now to check artificial intelligence so it doesn't outsmart us? Oh, that's difficult. So I don't think there's a chance that artificial intelligence is going to outsmart us in the next 30 to 40 years. But I do think in the future, what we need to do is a lot of testing at the R&D stage. And one thing I talk about in the book is the import of understanding whether the machines that we create could be conscious and what the impact of consciousness could be on the overall architecture of the system. Susan Schneider, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Well, for years, doctors have been telling us to cut back on red meat. It can cause cancer, they say, especially processed meats. But a new study says there's actually little evidence to support that. And the risks from eating bacon, sausages or steak have been overstated. But others are warning that this advice is dangerously misguided. 